what is up guys and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping in as you can tell there's some changes up here so I did have long hair but I decided it was time to cut that off which is nice because now I can wear hats and they don't like want to just slowly shift their way off of my head and it's a lot cooler it was like wearing a toboggan wherever you go when you have long hair like that but on the flip side of it like the day after I cut it I got sunburned so bad on my neck just because my hair was normally covering it but anyways we are out here today I have done, done a couple changes to the setup so I was gonna go over that a little bit with you guys and we're just gonna fling some arrows kind of a relaxed video nothing nothing crazy not a whole lot of structure to it but I don't know how far I am I'm guessing like 53 holy crap would you look at this I hope you guys can see this because yes you can right there 53 on the freaking money and that's what I guessed but at the same time I shoot out here every day I just don't shoot on this side of like a little concrete pad so I'm gonna grab the bow and we're gonna fling some arrows okay so if you saw my last video I think I said something about this but um, I ended up swapping to this site it's the uh, spot hog hog father it's very similar to the fast Eddie I've still got the the double pin and everything and the double pointer but what I like about this one is it locks in so like say you crank the 90 yards like like it just locks to 90 yards with that little lock and it can't really move at all, which I think is nice. The fast that you could kind of get a little bit of play in, which wasn't bad. I still haven't really decided what one I'm gonna hunt with, but right now I'm honestly kind of leaning towards the hog father, just because there is a little bit more of micro adjustability as well. And truthfully, I think the hog father's like three ounces heavier, but I honestly can't really tell a huge difference for one. And for two, all your mass weight of your bow being heavier all that's gonna do is just make you a little bit more stable on target but I'm we'll going ahead and fling this one down here this is actually my I shot through paper a couple times this morning this is my first shot at distance today it's a little bit high left but that could have been me but we'll probably just go shoot this group and then run down there and, and see where we're at Oh, that one was super high. That was pretty good. We'll run down there and check those out. Okay. So we just got down here to the target and I don't know what the heck was up with this shot. So I'm definitely gonna shoot another group. These ones aren't horrible. They're a little bit to the right, but I definitely am going to shoot again because that group was poopy to say the least. I'm not very happy with that. So let's go ahead and shoot again and see if we can't iron that out and fix it. So here we are back at the car and I'm probably just going to machine gun shoot these. Well, it's going to look like a machine gun to you guys, but not to me. we go that felt a lot better I still feel like I had one flyer but we'll run down there and check those out and see if those are any better so again not phenomenal but that's a lot better than that first one it's just frustrating because like in my last video I was shooting at 100 and getting groups like that so it's just a little bit frustrating to get a group like that at 50 but that's okay still got time to iron it out and it was only the second group of the day so Alrighty, so as you guys can tell behind me here, we are back in the shop. I spaced filming the outro earlier, so um, I'm doing it right now, finishing up the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That would really help me out. And uh, if you haven't already, check out some of my past videos. You might find something you like. You might find something that could help you uh, come the fall or even help you become a better archer. But anyways, like I said, that is going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.